cheese on your side. Better call bacon. Great news tonight. Our Better Call Bank and Phone Bank to reunite callers with unclaimed cash was a smashing success. Over the past 24 hours, more than a million dollars was returned to the rightful owners, and we're talking about people like you. And state officials are not stopping there. They're also holding an auction tomorrow to unload unclaimed property. We're talking about some valuable things like baseball cards, rare coins, some unusual items, too. Today was a preview for that auction. Let's get her Shannon Bacon was there today for that preview be joining us now with details on what you can expect. First of all, let me say thank you for almost finding me $38 yesterday. Wasn't me, but I was looking forward to I it. I tried. I thought I, I had know. some really good news for you. I'm sorry it wasn't you, but there's another Roderick out there who needs to collect his <laughs> yeah. $38. But today, this auction, all of these items were left inside safety deposit boxes in banks and credit unions, and state officials have tried for at least five years to find the rightful owners, but now all of these items could be treasures for bargain hunters. Israel was from the 1930s, 1940s. David Moore is a serious bargain hunter. I travel throughout the United States. Wherever they are putting them on, I go. And he has plenty of items to look through at the state of Florida's unclaimed property auction at the Tampa Marriott West Shore. So you have to do your homework. There's a lot of things in there not real. Then there's things that are real. So thank you. There are more than 72,000 items. Mickey Mantle baseball cards, jewelry. I even found sleeves of cash. Yeah, there's something here for everybody. Everything here used to be worth a lot to someone, enough to secure it in a safe deposit box. But something happened, and all of these items weren't claimed. The property is then turned over to the state and then auctioned off after about five years. Walter Graham is with Chief Financial Officer Jeff Atwater's office and helps organize the auction. We have uh, folks who see your, your, your coverage on television. It, it interests them. They want to come and take a look, you know, just out of curiosity. Or maybe they say, hey, maybe we'll find a good buy, which they can. And we have other folks who are professional buyers that travel around the country. Steve Davis has attended Florida's auction for three years and is looking for valuable coins. He drove up from Fort Lauderdale and plans to spend thousands tomorrow and then sell it all for a profit. I come for the you know the experience of it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can always meet cool people here and also you can get some good deals, find some interesting stuff that you almost see pretty much anywhere else. The auction will begin at 10 o'clock in the morning and will last until all of the items are sold. Doors at the Tampa Marriott West Shore will open at 8 a.m. for registration. So everything is going to sale? Is there everything. a minimum bid? Like, I'd like to go bid on a sleeve of cash, actually. <laughs> everything. Everything you saw there will sell. Mm -hmm. They have set minimum bids, but they told me that if it doesn't sell, then at the very end of the auction, they'll go back to it. So mm -hmm. they could just be desperate at the end to get rid of it, and you could get a really good deal. Really good deal. All yeah. right, Shannon, thank mm -hmm. you very much. Appreciate it. If you have a problem that needs solving, or perhaps you think you have some money out there and Shannon can find it for you. Better call Bankin. The number is 1-855-BANKIN. We'll be right back.